In August, two more bodies were recovered in the Payatas dump site. Like the previous victims, Brian Molina and Vicente Bansoy, both were found with their faces and genitals mutilated and their hearts cut out. Authorities identified the first boy as Lino Alcaraz. His family, interviewed in the previous segment, could not be reached for comment. The second victim was Andoy de Lina, the son of a single mother working as a laundry woman in Mangahan. Carla de Lina had Andoy when she was 15. The father, Ramon, is currently serving a life sentence in Manila City Jail for selling shabu, or crack cocaine. The first years were difficult ones. One infection after another, not enough money for food or medicine, relying on lining up for handouts from the church, charities, politicians. She begged on the streets for food, for loose change. Payat yung braso, nangangatog yung tuhod, sakitin. Tapos nung naging six years old na siya, yun, tumangkad. Tapos dun siya nagsimulang makipaglaro sa mga bata dyan sa labas. Ang laki ng tuwa ko dyan, kasi anak ko yun. For months after his disappearance, Carla still washed Andoy's clothes. When she heard the news, she continued. A reminder of how life was when her boy was alive. Minsan napakiramdam ko eh. Parang napag-iiwanan ako ng panahon eh. Iba na yata ngayon eh. Nagkakanya-kanya na sila. Araw-araw nga yata eh, ang dami-dami mga batang pinapanganak ng may sakit. Yung lumalaki sila sa hirap, tapos wala pa halos na nag-elementarya, namamatay na. Swerte na lang kung lumaki sila na mga manggagancho, mga magnanakaw. Eh, ano pa ba ang trabaho makukuha nila? Eh, kung may mga makinarya ng gumagawa na dapat nilang gawin. Ang bata pa ako, kinakwento sa akin ng lola ko na ang ganda-ganda daw na Maynila dati. Maraming puno, minis yung hangin. Paraiso daw ni Adan at Eva. Eh ngayon, masikip, madumi, nagkalat na yung korupsyon at karahasan. At ang init-init, Diyos ko. Nakiramdam ko malulusaw na yata ang buong Pilipinas dahil sa init. Ang dating paraiso, Ngayon, nag-iimpero na. 